Hey, I'm just an idiot, stupid dog, but this is ridiculous. The man comes in the other day, he's pitching me this line that I'm going to camp. I knew right away it was bullshit. I thought I'm getting pitched in the jail cell, you know, like that thing with that movie with that guy who bounced to the thing or the ball off the thing and they kept throwing him the can, the cooler. Those Nazi bastards kept throwing him, Cool Hand Luke or somebody in the cooler. It was the race car driver guy. And that was how I felt. You know, you're going to throw me in there? Well, guess what? I'm tough enough. I can take it. The isolation, the loneliness, whatever, the monotony, the heat. So whatever. You know, they throw you in the jail cell. You're there. You get a little depressed. But when you come out, they feed you pretty good. He says, no, it's better than that. You're going to camp. You're going up and you're going to be with a family. And I thought, oh, no. So there's this... The man knows this woman from church. Now, this woman turns out it's like a saintly woman. This woman is like, you know, she's like, I don't know what, like angels, like Snow White's older grandma, like a bunch of birds fluttering around. And everywhere this woman goes, it's like a halo, a, a corona, like a thing over top of her head is glowing, like a halo. It's, <laughs> you can't. So she's tending these dogs. When we get up there, believe me, it's a massacre. My hair starts pointing out of my hat, hide like, like, you know, like the man. The man thinks he's losing his hair? Guess what? Dump me off in this Wild West scenario with five other dogs. One of them is a German shepherd. It's like five years old. He's smart. He's in charge of everything. He doesn't know how to talk, so he's like bite, snip, smack. And then there's this big, stupid, idiotic St. Bernard. I'm going to become friends with that St. Bernard because that St. Bernard's kind of like Lenny. And I don't think that German is treating him like the other guy treated Len- Lenny. So I'm going to try to nuzzle in there. Maybe I could get a, uh, whatever you call it, an ally. And we could t- t- tell this German shepherd, you know, to go. The German shepherd's like, you got to walk further out. And you got to bury your poop. I said, bury my poop? What are you, crazy? I don't bury. What? Bury my th- the German shepherd said, you dig a hole, you stupid bastard. Look at this. This place is as big as like five ping pong tables. You can't just shit anyway. You got to dig a hole. And then you, and I was like, well, how do you, how do you keep from digging up the other guy's crap? He said, ah, we didn't get to that part yet. We're not that smart. He was telling me this in dog. Like he was like sniffing my butt and like snipping at me. I had to whatever, you know, I was like, ah, I was trying to talk to him. He's like, you know, he was, he would give me a smack and say, you know, in dog language, he'd say, you can't talk to me in English. It kind of scared him, so I, he backed away a little bit. But basically, he was like, I don't care if you can talk English. I'm the big guy around here. He was telling me, you got to bury your crap. I was like, I'm not burying my crap off crap outside the fence. So I kind of put my butt right against the chain link fence, and my poop would drop out on the other side. This dog couldn't even understand English, so I don't think he understood what I was saying. But I started crapping the other side, and some of the dogs looked approvingly in dog language, because I, I talk English and dog language, obviously. They were talking dog language. But the German Shepherd, he was giving me a hard time. And I think I'm going to buddy up to uh, Lenny. And we're going to see what we can do about, you know, whatever.